Welcome back to the Crypto 618 channel and in this video we are going to take a look at how to swap ETH which is an ERC-21 token to BNB, BEP20 without Binance. Now if you like these videos and you'd like to see more of these videos hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon. Let's get started. So the first thing we need to do we need a MetaMask wallet. So you'll need the MetaMask wallet. Uh, if you'll go to MetaMask, MetaMask.io, which is the official website, and you can download the wallet. So I'm just using it uh, in either Chrome or Brave, and you just click on the download page. You've got Chrome, iOS, and Chrome you can use also for Brave, and you've got Android as well. So what you do is you install a MetaMask and you go through the setup and these uh, instructions and plenty of videos on how to install MetaMask. So once it's finished, you'll see MetaMask and it'll appear up here on the right uh, at the top. And it, normally when you get it the first time, it'll be on the Ethereum mainnet. So it'll actually say Ethereum mainnet up here. And to do this, to actually swap uh, from the ETH network over to the BNB, you're actually swapping from one network to the other. And normally you would do this with Binance. If you had a Binance account, you would uh, either purchase ETH uh, or you would send ETH to your Binance account and then you would do a, a you would convert or make a trade and you would trade for BNB. And then when you send it out to the other wallet, uh, you would do with a withdrawal to that wallet. So that's how you would do it if you had Binance. But if you don't, you, this is the way you need to do it. So once we have MetaMask uh, installed and we have that uh, in our system and you've got Ethereum mainnet and you've got all your, make sure that you've got all your uh, codes written down in a secure place. And once you have that, we will now need to add the Binance Smart Chain to this wallet. So when it first comes out, you won't have that uh, network added. So if you click on here, you'll see different ones, but you won't have that Binance Smart Chain. So the way to add that, you can actually add it manually by clicking Add Network, uh, and then you can actually type in all the information and press Save. But you'll need to get this correct information, okay? And it's important that you get it correct, otherwise it won't work. Now you can go to chainlist.org and I will leave a link below for that. So chainlist.org, it essentially has all the networks and you can add them automatically to your MetaMask wallet. So I've connected my MetaMask wallet here and then all I need to do is click on add to MetaMask. So uh, if we click on this little down arrow, you'll actually see all the different networks that are available. So it's just going to put the first one in, which is 56 BNB. So you would click on add to MetaMask and that would pop up here. And then it would say switch to Binance Smart Chain first, uh, which we would click on switch. Try that again. So then add to MetaMask. And then what will happen is it will come up here and you'll see it listed here as Binance Smart Chain. Now I already have it in there, uh, so you'll once you add it to MetaMask it will appear in the network. It's as simple as that. Now the way you switch between the two, so you just click on this uh, area with a drop down and you've got Ethereum mainnet and you wait for it to load. Normally you see the Ethereum icon, you'll see your balance in ETH if you have some uh, ETH in there. Then when you switch to the Binance Smart Chain, which is this network here, it takes a little while to load, and normally you'll have a zero balance of BNB in there. Uh, but because I've used this before, I've got a balance of BNB. So it's the first thing you need to do is to be able to switch between the two networks. That's important for the very next step that we're gonna do. So what we're gonna do then is we're gonna go to changenow.io. And what this platform will allow you to switch uh, between the two networks. So what we need to do now is click on Ethereum. And what then what we want to do is, so we're going to send Ethereum, probably 0.11 ETH. 
and we want to swap that out and we want to do Binance Coin, which is BSC. BSC is Binance Smart Chain. So BNB, BSC, that's the one we want. Because if you, um, I'm not sure if it's an option here, but if you just choose BNB, there is a network just called the um, the Binance Chain, which is just a, it's actually like these two parallel networks and there's the BNB on that and then, uh, and then there's the BNB on the smart chain. You want the smart chain network. So that's why we're selecting that one. So it'll have ETH, BNB, and it'll say BSC for, uh, for Binance Smart Chain here. So 0.11 will get you 0.8 uh, of BNB. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go through the exchange. So if you're not sure about this platform, you can click on Trustpilot and have a look at the reviews. Uh, and I recommend only always exchanging small amounts through exchanges um, because if something goes wrong, uh, you you know, if, if you're putting like $100,000 or a million dollars through a platform like this, if something um, goes wrong and you can't get your funds back, that's a problem. So you don't want to be in that situation. Just use small amounts to exchange on a platform like this. If you want to do larger amounts, you will need to probably go through something like Binance or a local, um, basically a local exchange where you would have to do KYC for larger sums of money. They want to know who you are before you start trading lots. So be aware of that. So we're just going to do ETH for BNB. So we need to make sure that our MetaMask wallet is on the correct network. So we go back to Ethereum mainnet. So we now have that account loaded. And we want 0.11 because we still need a little bit of ETH in there to pay for the transaction. So we've got 0.1152. We're just going to send over 0.11. That should be enough to leave enough gas for this transaction. So then we're going to click on exchange. And let's just go through the steps. Okay, so 0 0.11 will get me 7998. Enter the wallet. Enter the BNB BSC payout address. Okay, so we're going to get this from here. We're going to click back up in here. And we're going to click on Binance Smart Chain. And this is our wallet. Uh, number here. So this is our address for the Binance Smart Chain. So we click it and then we're just going to go back to Ethereum mainnet and we're going to type in the payout address. So this is the address that we want our ETH to go to. So we confirm that that is the address and we want to be in control of that address that we're sending it to. It's going to be our own address. Then uh, we can click next. So we can have a look at advanced settings and just see what they've got. It's a promo code. So we just click on next. Now, please confirm the details of exchange. We want to swap 0.11 ETH. And this is how much BNB I'm going to get. It's going to take 10 minutes. Have I read uh, the information? Am I on changenow.io? Yes. And have I read the terms and conditions? And then confirm. So now that is the correct address. I'm going to press confirm. We'll allow. So now it's please send the funds that you would like to exchange. So I need to send 0 0.11 ETH to this ETH address. Okay. So what we're going to do is uh, unlock the Brave browser. We're going to connect with the main account. I'm going to connect. And let's just double check that we are on the right one. So we can see we're on Ethereum mainnet. We can see we've got 0 0.1152 in there. That's fine. So now we're going to deposit. So we just click on deposit 0 0.11 ETH. MetaMask will then want to send 0 0.11 ETH Scroll down, we can see here it's going to be about estimate dollar fifteen gas fee. So we press confirm. So what it's doing is it's going from my MetaMask wallet 
from ETH and it's going to this address here. So this is address a change now address. This is uh, not in, I don't control this address. Once the um, deposit goes into that address, that's when, and after it's confirmed, that's when they do the exchange. So then they will exchange uh, and they will then get the BNB, which is the Binance Smart Chain. They will get that BNB and you can actually scroll down here and have a look at what's happening. So they're waiting the deposit and we'll have to wait for that to come through. We'll come back shortly. Then it will confirm, exchange, and then it finally sends to the address that I previously put in. So we're just going to we'll, um, wait a few minutes for this to come through and we'll go from there. Okay, you can see now that the deposit has been confirmed and now it's exchanging. So it's exchanging 798, 0.798 and this is the wallet that it's going to. So now it's doing the exchange. Okay, so we've had a success. Uh, the exchange took two minutes, which is great. And I got uh, 0.0010878 more than expected. So that, that conversion ended up being 0 0.11 to 0 0.7996348 view. So that's when you have success. Uh, and they also have a mobile. If we have a look down here, you can see all the information about the transaction. Now, before we leave this page, we can just go up into our MetaMask and we switch. We can see that Ethereum now, we've only got a small amount of Ethereum left and we go switch back to Binance Smart Chain. And now if we have a look at here, we now have uh, more, we have 1.3 in BNB. So that's come across, we have a look, um, there's nothing on the activity side, but this is uh, increased from what we had before. So that's transferred into the wallet. So we've had a success, which is excellent. So that's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. You can leave them a review if you want or start a new exchange. So just remember that you Obviously, depending on how much you use this service, you may need to provide KYC. Uh, and um, I believe they do say that if you don't supply KYC, they will refund your money. Um, so yeah, check out reviews, do your own research on this. Uh, make sure that you um, 
and be aware of what you want to do. But obviously, if it's larger amounts, you want to go through a dedicated uh, centralized exchange. Uh, that way, they have KYC and someone to call if there is a problem. So if you do like this video, hit the like button. And if you would like to see more videos like this, uh, please hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. And I will talk to you guys soon. Thanks, guys. Bye.